comes to being a sneakerhead, there's always going to be pairs that you don't wear. You're going to buy sneakers and you're going to forget that you have them. So what a lot of people do is that they buy their sneakers and wear it that exact same day or the exact same week so they know that they at least put one wear into their shoes. Unlike those people, I am different. I have sneakers and I wait months, sometimes even years to wear them. And looking down on the floor, these are 10 sneakers that I'm surprised I haven't worn yet because I was fiending for these sneakers and guess what? They're still DS. Is that so? I'm trying to paint the pictures, leave you Van Gogh So we can ride out and just slide out, catch a movie and just hide out I can see you through the glass, you know you got it What's up she ST like Squad, how you doing? Welcome back to the page, welcome back to the channel How's everything? Everything gravy? Everything good? Alright, now I want to give a big, big shout out to the sponsor of this video The sponsor who got me fresh and laced up, looking all good And that's gonna be Everyday Rotation so they're brand based out here in New York and I have to say that this shirt is so cool. Like when I first seen them on IG, I was like, yo, who is this? What, what are they about? Cause I know one of my friend, he had their shirt that says outside. Now this T says where the sidewalk ends and I'm not gonna lie, the puff print, fire. I'ma have their link down below. That was pretty weird. I'ma have their link down below and you guys can check it out. They do run true to size, the pricing is fair. So please guys, black owned business, go check them out. But in this video, like I said in the intro, we're gonna talk about sneakers I do not wear anymore. Not that I don't wear them anymore, but I have yet to wear them, period. So let's start off with the video right now. Coming in number 10 is going to be a sneaker that I was fiending for. This shoe, anytime I seen it on somebody's feet, I was like, yo, I need those, I need those, I need them. And then I got them and I never wore them. I'm talking about this right here. This is the Element 87s. I want to say the Dust Peach. Yeah, the Dust Peach. When this shoe first came out, I was going crazy. I said I need them. They sold out, then they restocked. They went on sale and I got this for $30. Copped it for $30 and still have yet to wear it. So what was I feeding so much for? it? I don't know. Now coming at number nine is gonna be a pair of sneakers that I actually have about six pair of and I don't know why I keep buying it. Anytime a new colorway comes out, I end up buying it. Ah, <sighs> LeBron's. This is the Beijing colorway and I have to say this is fire and this is the NVP colorway also fire two PEs that drop and of course I got them and of course I've yet to wear them me personally I think these shoes look great with sweatpants and maybe that's why I haven't worn them just because it's summertime coming at number eight is actually a sneaker that I've been complaining about like not the sneaker itself but the model I need more pairs I do love the shoe but I barely wear it so do I really need more pairs that shoe is going to be the Nike Dunk Low. I got this for a great price and I'm in love with the sneaker. The only thing is, I just keep forgetting to wear them. Over and over, I say I'm going to wear these sneakers and I never do. Now, the more I keep counting down these sneakers, I realize like, yo, Squint, you need to wear your shoes. Because just like the Dunk Lows, I've been fiending for them. I wanted them. I just never got a chance to wear them. And I think it's because this behind me. Because I have all these sneakers, I normally just draw for whatever is on the lineup. I never go into my closet and that needs to change. Because coming in at number seven, this shoe right here, this Yeezy, I got this last year and I never, ever wore them. This right here is going to be the Yeezy 700 Bone. This colorway is so fire, so clean and I think that's why I haven't worn it. Like literally guys, it's dead stock. Never been outside the box, never been outside. The colorway is just so clean, I don't want to mess it up. And I honestly think that's why I haven't worn them. Coming at number seven, it's a sneaker that I was going crazy for. This shoe is actually a PE. Just like the other LeBrons, I have one more LeBron to talk about, and that's this right here. The LeBron 3 Oil. Check out the shoes. I still have the laces. That's how crazy it is. Like The shoe itself is fire. Like, baby blue, white and red, never worn. And I think it's because... I wear LeBrons in this winter time, but this is a spring colorway and I'm not going to wear LeBron in the spring. So now I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to wear these sneakers in the fall time, even though it's a, you know, a spring color. Ah, <sighs> number five, number five. How is it Nike SB and Supreme came together and make a brand new sneaker and it's going for dirt? Not really dirt, but it's going for like $200. I thought this shoe was going to go up in prices. I do like it. However, I felt like Supreme was just being lazy when they did this one. This is the Supreme Dunk Lows, the newest drop. The first one, my God, I mean, the, is the best. But this, however, 
they dropped the ball. But just having it dipped in gold, eh, it didn't do them any justice. And then make it worse, they put a jewel swoosh that a lot of people don't even like, except for the old heads. Me personally, I think this shoe's very dope. I just never wear them, which is crazy. Cause you would think in the world right now that Nike SB is running the place, I'll have these on every day. I don't, it's crazy. I don't know why. I honestly feel like I need to take a lot of shoes out that closet. If you're in my sneaker closet, I'm not gonna worry. But if you're on the wall, you're gonna get worn. Now, number four is a sneaker that I have for four years. Yes, I bought these shoes back in 2016. I bought them, laced them up, put them in a container, and never wore them because I just like to waste money. And here it is. Another shoe, just like the Yeezy 500, is so clean that I don't wanna mess it up. Like, let me get closer. Take a, take a nice little look at this. All white racers. Like, you can't go wrong with this. This shoe is crazy and it's all white. So when I think about wearing this, I don't wanna get it dirty. And that's why I haven't worn it. I wanna keep it pristine. I wanna keep it so nice. But then again, it's like I'm wasting my money. Why not wear it, right? but it's all white, you barely see the swoosh. This shoe is fire. Hands down, one of my favorite, favorite Flyknit racers is just, I can't mess it up, man. Now, coming at number three is the PG3. Ah, I need, I need to go to bed. Coming in at number three is the PG3. Now, this shoe, I love the color blue. That's why I got it. However, 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 I never wore it. I did a video, I wore it in the video, and that was about it. The PG3s is a basketball sneaker, and for some reason, I love basketball sneakers. I just never wear them unless it's fall and winter time. So being that I got this and I never wore it, I thought about selling it, but the price is nowhere near what I paid for it. When I put them on feet, they look perfect, but then when I'm getting dressed to go out, this never come to mind. Like. I'm pretty sure you guys have that dilemma too when you wanna wear a sneaker but you're fit to call for another sneaker. So now you have to force yourself to wear that one shoe. That's me. I gotta force myself to wear one of these 10 at least once. I have to. I have them in the collection for so long. Why not wear them? Which one of your shoes in your collection hasn't touched the ground yet? Please comment down below and let me know. And at that same time, please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, bread up. Join the STS squad, boy. Squint TV squad, join us. What are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button. I'll wait. You finish? All right, so back to the shoe. Now, the last two sneakers, them, they're going to really take you for a surprise because honestly, this is a shoe I almost spent $600 on. And I mean, I was around, I want to say 2014, I was looking up these sneakers like, yo, I don't want to wait until they restock, but something tell me, wait until they restock because Jordan always loved to restock their shoes. Not restock, but re-retro. And here we go. These shoes right here, I'm not going to lie. When I heard these was coming out, I was excited, ecstatic, ready to cop, ready to wear them. I got them and yeah, never. Put them on my feet, never did a review, never did anything, even though this is one of the 11s that's on my top list when it comes to 11. You can see for yourself in the outsole that they have yet to touch the earth. But the shoe itself is fire. I love this color block and this shoe is amazing. Now, the sneaker that shot me the most, my number one sneaker that I haven't worn yet that makes no type of sense. Please guys, let me know. Why do you think I haven't worn these sneakers yet? Once you see the sneakers, please give me your reasoning on why you think I haven't worn these sneakers yet. <sighs> it makes no goddamn sense. But the sneaker that I'm talking about is the Travis Scott 6. These right here is fire, unworn, don't know why this shoe is goddamn amazing one of my favorite travis scott's by the way the six amazing hands down if you guys want to see my top five travis scott's because i don't have a lot but my top five travis scott this is high in the list but look at it all i did was switch the laces and that was it i have yet to put this shoe on my feet 
and go outside. The reason is because I want a proper fit. When it comes to certain sneakers, I just need a proper fit before I wear it. And for some reason, I could never find the proper fit for this. And I don't want to just throw on sweatpants. I want to give this shoe the justice because a lot of people are sleeping on this. I don't know why, but you guys are sleeping. The price keep going up. So you guys need to hurry up and cop. But I am completely shocked that this shoe is my number one unworn sneaker. Like this should have been worn. Like all my other Travis's, one, four, and the Air Forces, I wear these all the time, but this one I just don't. Even the blue. How can I wear this one all the time and not this? How do I manage to wear this and not wear this? Jesus Christ, but don't know. I need help, but yo, one day. Were you guys surprised by my top 10 sneakers that I never worn? Cause trust me, I was. I honestly thought that I wore most of my sneakers until I decided to do this list. And then I'm like, yo, how the hell did these miss me? So now I'm gonna challenge myself to wear these shoes just like I said before. And I'm gonna challenge you guys to wear some sneakers too. So please comment down below and let me know what is the number one shoe that you haven't worn yet that you're shocked and surprised or what is your top five sneakers that you haven't worn yet? But yo guys, love manas and always respect. Remember guys, STS to the world. I'm out.